Hi there, this is Maxim and I'm going to tell you about the architect house in Krasnodar, Russia. Hope you'll like it. Dear guests, our tour is coming to an end and as the cherry on top I give you the spectacular house of the architect Alexander Kasakin. Well, I really adore this building. The house of architect Kasakin is my most beloved mansion because its hard fate has been developing before my eyes for 20 years already. For many years I worked in a hospital near here and every day except weekends I walked past this house here and there. At first I thought it was just another Krasnodar ruin, which uh, for some reason stands in the very center of Krasnodar. Living for many years in St. Petersburg, I felt puzzled when I heard the very phrase architecture of Krasnodar. Somehow I didn't notice anything special except uh, for the bad treatment of a small number of interesting buildings in Krasnodar. I thought so until a piece of plaster fell down right in front of me uh, from the bay window, look at this semicircular prominent balcony, it's a bay window. To be safe, I began to walk along the other side of the street where we are standing now. After a while, I took a look more closely at this building and I saw the beauty of this house, its soul, its wounds and suffering. Every time I think about it, my heart skips a bit. I feel terribly sorry for this house. I would really like it to stay alive and avoid the tragic fate of this of his creator. Well, let's have a look at the house together. Let's reveal its beauty under a thick layer of human indifference. Here you can see a two-story brick building made in the Art Nouveau style with a gable uh, roof and uh, basement. Look at the facade. Please pay attention that it's asymmetrical due to the prominent bay window. Different heights of windows, different ornaments around them. The windows are large and occupy a sufficient area of the facade. The brickwork of the windows form plans patterns that resemble natural ones, but at the same time you can say for sure what kind of uh, plant it is. This is uh, well, and uh, this is technique is one of the features characteristic of Art Nouveau, the stylization of natural objects without their exact coping. On the left, on the ground floor, where now there is a window in an unusual frame, there was originally an arch for the entire carriages. In Soviet times, the additional living space was made from the arch. But if you step back from the broken windows and bars in this place, you will see how the architect designed the entrance to the arch. In these photos, you can see how the house looked over the years after the war. Look, there are no trees yet and the entire facade is open. Well, let's go to the yard. Look at the facade from this side. Probably you know that for the eclecticism and neoclassicism it is typical to decorate only the front part of the building. For Art Nouveau it is important to create a house as a whole. And here you can see the original brick design and not repeated window shapes. On the right there is a narrow vertical window covering the entire floor. Imagine for how much light there was in this house. According to the architect's plan, the roof of the building was flat and was used in a ter as a terrace. Hosts could play here with their guests, drink tea, admire views of the city and the nearest fountains. The house was a natural part of the surrounding area and uh, had it in its original form many convenient solutions for life. Kasakin managed to embody the key ideas of the Art Nouveau style, to be closer to nature, to be a part of the surrounding space, and to have a comfortable and functional inter internal structure that echoes the facade of the building. Well, unfortunately, you can't enter the house and it's dangerous and not allowed. Let's look at these pictures. There is a saved cast uh, iron railing inside and this production you can see how the staircase perspective echoes the designed elements on the facade. Also inside there are the remains of a large fireplace, basement with arched ceilings and the uh, niches for inventory. Well, unfortunately, rubbish and garbage also. Let's talk a little about the architect. 
Alexander II was born in 1875 in the family of a general. He graduated the St. Petersburg Institute of Civil Engineers. He built a lot of in our region, churches, buildings of public institutes. At the beginning of the last century, the, uh, he was the uh, Ekaterina Dark chief architect for five years. His most successful buildings was the Institute for Noble Maidens. Uh, is the next attraction on our tour. In 1910, a black streak began it in his life. He was fired from his position as an uh, architect. In 1918, his 75 years old father was killed by the Bolsheviks and the headless body was thrown out in the street. In 1919, the, uh, the pushed to the brick architect committed suicide. For some time, his wife and daughter lived in the house. Then the house was turned into five apartments. The house survived the Second World War without loss. However, in order to not freeze, the tenant were lighting the fireplace using the architect's drawings. In the 2000s, the L apartments were bought by a real estate company. They tried to demolish this house and build an office center on its place. In February 2020, the owner was deprived of the rights to own this house. And now the mansion is awaiting for an auction with obligatory conditions of restoration at the owner's expense. But that's inaccurate. Since 2000, uh, this house is a part of uh, cultural values and the, the, uh, like uh, department for the protection of the cultural heritage. Uh, look after this building. You can see uh, how they made out with these tasks. During this time, there were several courts, but nothing has changed. And now you can see that everything is really bad. And uh, the well, um, sites prohibition pedestrians from walking past the house have already been put up. Everything is collapsed, and the house is crumbling. Well then. Dear friends, today you and I have heard the voices of different architectural styles, and now the time has come to hear the voice of one of the masterpieces of our city, which architectural concept reflects the melody of the spa of space. The interior of the house flows into the external appearance of the building, and the external forms continue inside the house, uniting the space of the house into a, a unified whole. I really want a house to live and be restored. I believe that there will be people who will have the courage to write their names in the history of the city by saving the architectural masterpiece, the spectacular house of the architect Alexander II. Thanks for watching.